So the first thing I'm going to talk about is building rapid rapport. So building rapport is the number one most important element when it comes to effective communication. Your goal is to be in, in rapport as quickly as possible and as soon as you have it, it is your goal to keep it and control the environment. In theory, communication is split into three elements and mastering all three elements will drastically improve your effectiveness in building great rapport. So these are the three elements that, um, that you need to pay attention to when you're building rapport with somebody else, which means getting them to buy you or fall in love with you or like what it is you're communicating with them. Firstly is words, which only account for 7%, which is crazy. Most people think it's the words you say, but it's really only a small percentage of, of if people are really going to listen to what you have to point across. Second is tonality, which is in the tone of voice of how you communicate to whoever you're meeting with. And that's about 38%. And number three is physiology, which is a huge number. 55% is based on our body and our body language. You know, when I was first started in the training industry, I was working with some athletes at this one location and I had this really great mentor and, and uh, well, he was my boss at the time. And he was a big stickler on this one key element. You know, throughout the day, I was on my feet all day, you know, working maybe sometimes 12, 15 hours, you know, coaching athletes and getting them, you know, in shape. And sometimes you can get tired. So you either want to sit or sometimes I've crossed my arms like this and, and, you know, count some reps. And he would walk across the gym. And if my arms are crossed like this, he would come behind me and throw my arms back and say, don't ever cross your arms, stand up tall. If I was sitting, he would tell me to get up and take one knee instead of sitting. He was so particular on making sure that we were in the right state of body language when we were coaching people. You know, showing this means I'm very closed off and I'm not really interested. And my athletes, may, even though I'm saying good job and being supportive, this body language based on what he knew here, you know, wasn't showing what I was actually saying. That's why sometimes when people are talking with you and they're like, they maybe have a bad vibe with you or something, you really could come down to how you're presenting yourself. You know, is your chest up, your shoulders back, your arms down? Do you look like you're, you know, commanding a room just based on your body language alone? Right? When you walk into a room, do people notice you? Do they see you as being somebody that they might want to speak to? That all comes down to how you present yourself and your body language, even to the clothes you wear. So it's a huge percentage. Second thing is tonality, right? the tone in which you speak. Um, you know, Obviously, I speak pretty quickly, so that plays another part. We'll get to that in a little bit. But the tone, if, if somebody's a soft, soft speaker and they're very quiet and very you know, low voice, I'm not going to come to them and talk really fast and really high they're not gonna like that. They're gonna feel like we are not on the same wavelength and they'll run the other way, right? So you wanna match, it's called match and mirror. You wanna match and mirror the people that you're speaking to. And then obviously the last thing is the words, which is, again, it doesn't really matter a whole lot in terms of what you actually say. Um, it really comes down to the other two point important factors. Um, if you saw The Wolf of Wall Street, the movie, uh, I actually got to meet Jordan Belfort live and he really talked about this. When he trained his sales guys on the phone um, or even when they're meeting people face to face, he literally focused on tonality and physiology, right? Tonality and physiology were the two things. He made them sit upright. He made them, you know, feel really strong. And they, their tone and the pitch in which they spoke really got people to buy into whatever it is they were selling at the time. Um, so I talked about it, you know, and I'll reiterate it right here. Each area can be broken down into parts. So with the physiology, again, remember I said matching and mirroring um, body language. So posture, their gestures, facial expressions, breathing, blinking. Now, you don't want to stand there and analyze and try to, you know, match everything like that, but make it very subtle. Um, if they talk with their hands like I do, you're probably going to want to talk like that. If they're standing with their hand with their hand on their hip, you know, maybe you're going to do that. If they're tapping their pen, you know, you're not going to tap the pen, but maybe you'll tap your foot. There's lots of different things you can do to mirror what it is they're doing. Remember, like attracts like, so you want to be just like them when you're communicating with people. Tonality, remember the voice. So the pitch and speed, uh, the quality, the volume, all of those things, be aware and listen when you're speaking with people and pick up on that. So you can make sure that when you are communicating with them, you can definitely get it across um, you know, very easily. And you know, words, we're gonna get through in the next little bit and talk about certain key words and phrases that you can say. I always like to joke, you know, most men, if you look at your smartphone, this is not everyone, this is just a general statement. And you know, if you're a guy right now, pull out your phone, you're probably gonna see it. You probably have written sounds good somewhere um, in, a, in a text message. And, uh, or you say it often like I do, because men sometimes are very, or most of the time very auditory and they like words like that. So we're gonna break down some key words in the next little bit that you can use. And you know, again, it's just gonna be practice. You're gonna have to practice everything that I teach you and it's gonna have to be constant repetition of this stuff to really get it into your brain. Um, you can see things like skin color, skin tone, 
Um, you know, does there, I mean, you might say, oh, skin color, how are you gonna really do that? And, and in terms of skin color, I mean like, do they get red cheeks or do they get embarrassed, you know, when you say something? They pay attention to how their skin changes. Are they sweating? Um, are, are their skin tone, are they glossy? Are they, you know, are they, are they, is it smooth? Their pupils dilation, you know, breathing rate. Are they fast breather, slow breather? The more you can model this stuff, the better that it is when you are going to meet new people, sell new business, build new relationships, they're gonna really fall in love with you as a person. And it's not that you're manipulating people, it's just creating that common commonality, right? If you've, you've got something in common with somebody, you're gonna be more inclined to share your ideas back and forth, and it's gonna make communication a lot more easier um, as you go out and talk with people. So um, now when it comes to words, people, you can also pick up on the patterns, you can also pick up on their patterns, and tell which is preferred method they wish to be spoken to, and to know whether this person is a visit, visual person, an auditory, a kinesthetic, um, or, or, or auditory digital style learner, I'm gonna get into that in a little bit, and um, you know what key phrases and words you can use to help, obviously, um, win over that conversation. So we'll get to that right now.